Sometimes when you like something, someone else will try to take that thing away. And it's in that respect that the feminist frequency has been taking candy from the proverbial baby since the dawn of time, with a particular hard-on for gaming. So charge your battery packs, skin up a fat one and settle in. We're having a session. That has got to be the worst thing to see at the beginning of a video, isn't it? The fucking music just stresses me out. I'm like, oh, come on, what now? Oh, it gets worse. Oh, why, John? You're like a bad smell. Many women have courageously spoken out about how they experience alienation and harassment in gaming. It's not harassment, John. The enemies are supposed to attack you. Despite this fact, too many male gamers dismiss the issue as no big deal and insist that there isn't really a problem. Well, no big deal then. Doesn't sound like a problem. One of the luxuries of being a member of a privileged group is that the benefits afforded to us often remain invisible to us. Yeah, invisible to us, non-existent. Same thing, yeah? Working towards solutions requires that male gamers become aware of the ways in which we unconsciously benefit from sexism. Benefiting? I don't get Xbox Gold membership for free because women get harassed online, John. I get it for free because I steal it from my fucking housemate. We can't work to fix something unless we first understand its effects. But John, if I am supposedly benefiting from it, why the fuck would I want to fix it? With that in mind, the following is a checklist of some of the concrete benefits that male gamers automatically receive simply for being men. Oh good, a list. <laughs> Check out the screen though. That is what it looks like when John peeks at Anita Sarkeesian in the shower. Imagine that, next time you leave your bedroom door slightly ajar, imagine that face staring at you. And don't blame me for that image, I just didn't want to be traumatised alone. Right, well, he doesn't look as though he's ever seen a woman, let alone harassed one. I can choose to remain completely oblivious or indifferent to the harassment that many women face in gaming spaces. Everyone gets shit online, anyone can turn off the chat. Boom! Next! I am never told that video games or the surrounding culture is not intended for me because I am male. What about games intended for girls, like the daring game for girls? That would raise some eyebrows, especially for you. I mean, look at you! Do yourself a favour, you know? I can publicly post my username, gamertag, or contact information online, without having to fear being stalked or sexually harassed because of my gender. <laughs> that has nothing to do with why you don't get sexually harassed, mate. Fuck it hell, you never stood a chance, did you? I will never be asked to prove my gaming cred simply because of my gender. Oh no, a gamer is asked to play a game. If I enthusiastically express my fondness for video games, no one will automatically assume I'm faking my interest just to get attention from other gamers. Well, with you, no, I mean, that, that would be totally believable, as you look like Super Mario's cousin. But females who are into gaming are in high demand, so some, some, have been known to fake it for the attention. Hence the vetting process we have to put them through before we believe them. There are forms to fill out, several background checks, and uh, a four-day conference in Peckham. I can look at practically any gaming website, show, or magazine and see the voices of people of my own gender widely represented. Who gives a fuck, beardy hipster? You're there for the gaming, not the fucking men! Oh, actually, I'm looking at him. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. When I go to a gaming event or convention, I can be relatively certain that I won't be harassed, groped, propositioned, or catcalled by total strangers. Well, cosplay is Eddie Gordo from the Tekken games, and you might be. Look, what do you want us to do about the groping? Stop people from doing it? Because we do. I will never be asked or expected to speak for all other gamers who share my gender. Oh, that's a ridiculous statement. Of course you will. If you worked in a fucking game shop, you'd get asked that every fucking Christmas. Shut up, you fucking egg. I can be sure that my gaming performance, good or bad, won't be attributed to or reflect on my gender as a whole. Oh yeah, because girls game for the reputation of the sisterhood, don't they? You can shut up too, mate. You look like a human crossed with a pig that started melting. My gaming ability will never be called into question based on unrelated natural biological functions. Oh, cut, you mean periods, don't you? You might as well say it. Well, let me tell you, premenstrual tension can come on pretty strong when she's playing Dark Souls. I can be relatively sure my thoughts about video games won't be dismissed or attacked based solely on my tone of voice. 
even if I speak in an aggressive, obnoxious, crude, or flippant manner. Well, no, of course not. Who does that? It's not what you said. It's the way that you said it. Who actually does that? I can openly say that. <laughs> to me oh, oh, I can't do it I oh, wind it on wind it on when purchasing most major video games in a store chances are I will not be asked if or assumed to be buying it for a wife daughter or girlfriend nah they don't ask any questions with you do they mate they just empty the fucking cash register the vast majority of game studios past and present have been led and populated primarily by people of my own gender and as such, most of their products have been specifically designed to cater to my demographic. What, because only men like to blow shit up? That's sexist, you cunt! And did John round up all the weird people he could find, or what? I can walk into any gaming store and see images of my gender widely represented as powerful heroes, dastardly villains, and non-playable characters alike. So, not enough women in video games then? Bullshit! If the biggest thing you care about is whether your character is male or female, then you just don't get gaming, do you? What could be more up your street? Maybe... the daring game for girls? I will almost always have the option to play a character of my gender, as most protagonists or heroes will be male by default. Don't really give a shit about that. You can make them all female if you want, as long as they're hot. Even Fat Princess was hot. I do not have to carefully navigate my engagement with online communities or gaming spaces in order to avoid or mitigate the possibility of being harassed because of my gender. No, but you might have to because of those views. You'd get fucking destroyed if you went around saying that shit by both men and women because the internet is a savage fucking territory. No free passes. I probably never think about hiding my real life gender online through my gamer name, my avatar choice, or by muting voice chat out of fear of harassment resulting from my being male. I'm sure some people do that, and the ones that do are scared of the voices in their television, so it's probably best they don't chat. And what's up with you anyway? You look like a really bad Photoshop. When I enter an online game, I can be relatively sure I won't be attacked or harassed if and when my real life gender is made public. I swear I've heard that one before. If you don't get the piss taken out of you because of your gender, it will be something else. No one gives a fuck. If I am trash talked or verbally berated while playing online, it will not be because I am male. Nor will my gender be invoked as an insult. Unless it's by a female gamer, maybe. While playing online with people I don't know, I won't be interrogated about the size and shape of my real-life body parts, nor will I be pressured to share intimate details about my sex life for the pleasure of other players. Well, you might, mate. You really might. I mean, as long as it's on voice chat, if you had a webcam, then you would not encounter that problem. Complete strangers generally do not send me unsolicited images of their genitalia or demand to see me naked on the basis of being a male gamer. Yeah, again, you might. This time by a male, because I don't think unsolicited tit pics are a thing. But yeah, you might. And if you didn't, how the fuck is that a benefit? That's just not getting a dick sent to you. It's not a fucking selling point, is it? Like the thing that tilts the balance for you when buying a car. Uh, yes, yeah, a five-seater, tops at 150 kilometers an hour, and uh, uh, no dicks with this one, actually. Oh, no dicks? Oh, that's good, because we don't want any dicks, do we, darling? No, oh, no, 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 we've had quite enough of dicks. It's not a fucking benefit. In multiplayer games, I can be pretty sure that conversations between other players will not focus on speculation about my attractiveness or sexual availability in real life. Yeah, well, sorry, honey. That's what guys do. And that's what girls do. Google it. If I choose to point out sexism in gaming, my observations will not be seen as self-serving and will therefore be perceived as more credible and worthy of respect than those of my female counterparts, even if they are saying the exact same thing. What? Th that, no, mate, you would get told to shut the fuck up with your bullshit. Always trying to make everything fucking sexist, just enjoy the fucking game, you preachy dick juggler. Because it was created by a straight white man, this checklist will likely be taken more seriously than if it had been written by virtually any female gamer. You have no idea how wrong you are there, John. This was my 63rd video, and that was by far the most amount of fuckery I've ever heard. These benefits should not be reserved for men. What fucking benefits? You just raised a load of things that aren't problems. This list is not meant to suggest that male gamers are always treated well. Yeah, people keep killing our characters. Sometimes we are bullied, 
or subjected to online nastiness. Oh, now I do love me some online nastiness. But it's not based on or because of our gender. Well, no, because a bloke taking the piss out of someone for being male is just fucking stupid, isn't it? In order to make change, first we need to acknowledge the problem. And then we must take responsibility for it as a community. Fucking hell, would you want to be in his community? He looks like the guy your parents would warn you to stay away from. So we can actively work together with people of all genders to dismantle the parts of gaming culture that perpetuate these imbalances. Why is your neck so long and your head is so small? It's, it's, it, it's fascinating. All people of all genders must be treated with respect and dignity. No, they don't. That's not like a law. I could just sing cunt over and over again down the headset. In fact, I have done that. Some other people joined in. We busted out some good harmonies. Together, we can make gaming better. Together, we will make gaming better. That sounded more sinister than it was supposed to, I hope. So I was meant to believe all of that more than if a bunch of women were saying it because John managed to round up some of his beta male buddies. D do you not know one normal person, John? You could have put a fucking ad in the newspaper or something at the very least. If you're gonna continue to shit all over the things people enjoy, at least put some fucking effort into it. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, talking about sexism in online gaming is a sure way to end up playing with yourself.